Hey, what's up everybody? It's March the 6th or 7th. Uh, I'm not real sure what the date is, but uh, this is our queen breeders uh, that we're going to be using this year. Um, same ones as last year. They're doing really good for us. Um, this is the first time we've been in these colonies. We hadn't been in them uh, since last fall, uh, other than to provide some emergency feed. So we're going to go in them. We're going to look at them real quick, kind of see what's going on. Uh, throw some pollen supplement, some sugar syrup on them, and give them some space, and and we'll go more in depth to what we're doing as we get into the video. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see. Um, a real cohesive colony. Um, they look good. They're out foraging today. It's overcast. It's a little cool. It's not cold, but they need food. Um, they've got space, but we're going to give them some more space also. Uh, mainly, I just want to get in here and look and see what's going on with them. Um, verify that we do have a, a laying queen, which I'm sure we do. They're bringing in pollen and things like that, but it's always good to double check and verify what you got. Don't catch the chickens before they hatch and don't put all the eggs into one basket, so to speak. First time of the year is a real pain sometimes getting these frames out, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, they're, they're bringing in a little something, maybe a little bit of nectar from something. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe the maples, but the maples are almost done here. Um, but I just want to get a little idea of what's going on with our bees. Okay, yeah, a lot of pollen, a lot of nectar being brought in right through here. So that looks good. Some high beetles over there on the side. Not too concerned about that at the moment. It's being real gentle. These bees are actually being very nice. No issues. More pollen, a lot more pollen actually on this frame. Right through here, right through here. This colony's fixing to explode. Um, there's our queen right there. Um, so we do have a queen, and I've got eggs going in everywhere on this frame. That's all I need to see. Um, I do want to see a couple um, frames to see if she's got any uh, capped brood. I would like to see some capped brood at this stage in the game, uh, which I'm sure we probably have. But you never know. So that's what we're doing. We're verifying what we got. Uh oh, sorry, beast. We're verifi verifying what we've got. Oh yeah, we got cat brood here. Oh yeah, done got me right there. Uh, got some cat brood right here. Looks good. Good pattern. Um, more right here. So I'm gonna close this colony up. I've seen what I need to see, and we're gonna uh, do our other manipulations to it and see what we got going on. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so that first thing of the year, it'll really wake you up pretty good. Uh, let you know you're still alive, and uh, and that wasn't even a good one. It got me through the glove, but hey, it's good to get back into it, get stung a few times, and we're going to fill this feeder up, because they, they need food. Um, they're going to really need a lot of food as they start growing. And we're going to give them all they need to be productive and successful. And like I say, this is going to be our, our colonies that we rear most of our, our bees from. So uh, we're going to spare no expense on this. We want them to go have everything they need. And the reason we're feeding and putting pollen supplements on is very simple. Uh, we got like two inches of rain coming in in the next few days. And the bees aren't going to be able to get out. And they could use a little supplement. But they don't need a lot because they're bringing in pollen. But... That little bit of extra just keeps them going forward. Say it rains for a week and um, they can't fly. They're really going to go through a lot of those stores that they've got um, feeding those baby larvae. And, you know, that queen could slow down and that's not what we want at this point. We want her pushing forward and continuing to make bees. And we don't want anything that's in our control, which feeding is, that can slow this colony down because that will put us farther behind. Um, and I don't see any um, any drones yet in this colony. Um, so we got a little ways to go before we can start grafting and stuff, but there's nothing that says we can't get this colony well on its way to, to being productive for us and, and having a lot of uh, a lot of bees so we can start making our queen sale or starter colonies and all that. So our single starters I mean. So we're gonna put a whole pollen patty on them. 
A lot of people say not to do that. Yeah, we got hive beetles in this colony and stuff like that. But you know what? This this colony can handle those hive beetles. They're strong enough. Um, and if we still it's still going to be on there in a week or so, we're gonna we'll take it off. You know, and we'll put some more on. Now another thing we're going to do is we're going to give them some space. We're going to add a super. Now it's a little cold out, I know, um, but they can. Uh, what we're going to do, this is going to do two things for us actually. It's not just what it's going to do for the bees. It's going to give the bees space, but it's also going to start allowing the bees to work up into this colony or this super here and start bringing in pollen and nectar and then give the queen some room to lay so hopefully we won't have any swarming problems, which uh, we typically don't with our uh, our queens uh, with cell starters and stuff like that because we manipulate them so much. But with all that... Uh, pollen and nectar they're going to start storing in here and, and raising some baby bees what we'll do later on we'll come back and throw a queen excluder in here uh got a little white small stuff on these but it's okay um we'll throw uh the bees will clean all that up but we'll throw a queen excluder on underneath you know after that queen's laid a good round of brood up here and let it hatch out and then we'll have a a, a box that's got nothing in it but uh nectar young bees and uh pollen and it'll be real ripe for making our uh, cell starters with so that's why we're doing that we'll put this back on top being careful not to smush any of our bees that pollen patty's got that you know kicked up a little bit but not major and our cold temperatures yeah it's still going to get cold but it's not going to be nothing major so that's what we're doing we're going to go through the next one see how it looks and we'll go from there Okay guys, so we moved over to this colony here and <laughs> snafu, lid broke, it's terrible, it's a datant lid, I hated them, I hated them since I've had them, I'm glad it's broke, I can get it out of the rotation, we'll put a Miller lid on this thing and uh, go from there. Alright, we got a little, a little comb being built up here, now it's very important this time of year to check, make sure your queen's not on this and look, and, you know, see what's going on, and they had a little, a little bit of room in it and there's some brood in it. Um, so that could be in your queens right there. So we're gonna have to look real good. Let's see what we got going on. Uh, don't look like she's there. Oh yeah, look at this mess. We haven't been in it all year, so look right there, check that out. And that's from our spacers. Just double checking this lid just to verify that she's not on here because I'm getting rid of it. It's, it's done. Um, now if you look at this, it's got brood all throughout this. Um, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but right down in here you got brood. Uh, and that's some drone brood, which is a good sign. So it means they're ready to, to rear some drones. Now I'm going to put this over here because they can recycle this wax. Look at that drone brood. I don't see any... Uh, um, oil mites, which is a good sign. Uh, I'm not saying this colony don't have any varroa mites. I'm just saying I didn't see any in that brood right there. I'm gonna move this over here, being careful, mindful of where the queen may be. Because if you squish her right now, you've had it. We went through that in our series last year, kind of showed you what you have to do whenever you have a failing queen or whatever, and you're trying to get that colony by until uh, there's a mite right there grow a mite on one of the larvae so that that tells me I'm gonna need to get some kind of treatment on this colony and we will uh, we'll go ahead and treat it this spring uh, these aren't honey producing colonies so we'll, we'll treat it and see what's going on uh, I'll leave this wax in here for them to rework um, so yeah, colony's looking good. A lot of bees in it. We're gonna feed them now. I've got a good suspicion that there's not a lot of bees in this bottom box. So we're gonna take a look at that and see what's going on. Okay, well I was wrong. So there's a fair amount of bees in that bottom box. So at this point, I'm not ready to flip it, rotate it, or do anything. Um, what I wanna do, I wanna get this up here. 
move that over set this up here just for the time being I'm gonna set this down here because what I'm doing is I want to put that uh, feed and that pollen supplement in between the two columns or in between the two boxes is that something pouring out of that feeder uh, maybe some old sugar water I don't know what's in it don't really care I'm gonna fill this feeder up a little bit of smoke because you're getting a little agitated which I don't blame them I'd be mad too if somebody broke into my house on a day like today we're gonna fill this feeder up not worried about any robbing at this point or anything like that just worried about getting some, some sugar water on them these feeders get clogged up over the throughout the season and uh, they propolize the holes shut and things like that they get clogged up so sometimes it can take a while to fill them up good idea to always clean them out throughout you know at the end of the season but we don't always do it and while that's slowly draining down in there. I'm just going to give them a pollen patty. I'm going to give them a one pound patty. I like to score it a little bit. just helps them get a little faster. Um, and I'm going to lay this patty right here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to break this one so I don't have to worry about it uh, you know, getting in between the two, two frames or, anything, or the two sections and causing a gap or anything like that. So there it is. It's right there. Put a few little slits through it so they can work it from both ends I know I've got brood I've already saw that um, I do want to verify that I got some worker brood so I'm just going to give them a little smoke through here through the bottom no need to tear this colony apart um, well I may have to because I see you know I've got worker brood in there so I know I'm queen right it looks good um, so I've got some sugar water in that part and I can top off the top also with a little bit of sugar water just so they don't have to go as far doesn't matter how you do it you can put it all on top you can do a bucket you can use whatever you want to main thing is this time of year just get some feed on them because most colonies starve to death in early spring because their rapid growth is just going so rapid uh, that they can't forage enough uh, nectar and pollen to stay uh, healthy. And it's called, well, it could be spring dwindle or just starving out completely, but it's mostly starvation that's gonna be your problems. this one up and this is just one-to-one -one syrup nothing nothing in it no additives just regular old uh, sugar table sugar sucrose not make sense to you right now because like I said we've uh now these are double deeps and the reason we did double deeps this year for our cell builders and our queen rearing is we want bulk bees is easier to get out of a double deep than it is a single and we're gonna need a lot of bees to start our two cell builders up this year to make our cells so we've got a double deep going into winter so we've already got plenty of bees in this we can start a cell builder now because uh, we're going to do our cell builders in these mediums and it's going to work out just fine. If you hadn't seen that video, uh, check out our video from last year. It'll show you how to do it. 
um, and it'll look good. Uh, it'll give you a lot of insight on how to how to make a cell builder and how we do it. It's not the only way to do it, but it works for us, and you'll learn a lot from it. So we're gonna go on to the next one, and if we get into it, we'll let you know what we got. Okay, everybody. So this colony is a little smaller. I don't see anything that makes me concerned at this moment. Um, get this old cardboard out of here, and I want to get down in here and I want to give it a look, see what we got going on. They were bringing in pollen, so I don't, I don't imagine anything major is going on with it. I think they're just a little smaller, a little later to kick off, and that's okay. Um, they're eating because they've had sugar bricks on them and they're, they're consuming, so healthy bees eat. Bees that are not healthy generally don't eat. Um, well, they eat, but they don't eat a lot. And this one's been consuming a fair amount, so let me just get this frame out of here. We've got a few high beetles. Still got some stores up top here. Um, so I'm going to move over, see what we, we're looking like. Now that I can break into it a little bit, got that one frame out. These are really hard to work in the... Now I've got a little roar going on, so that could be an indication that something's going on with it, but not necessarily. We won't know until we get in here. All right, let's see what we have. Okay, I've got pollen coming in. I've got a queen cell going. There's another queen cell going. So it looks like these this colony may be trying to replace their queen, which is a bad thing because I don't see any drones going on uh, going. But it's not. There's a okay. There is a drone in this colony, but he's brand new. He's just emerged. Um, I don't see the queen. I do see some eggs and larvae, but. I can't really, when this light, it's hard for me to make it out. So this colony may be trying to replace their queen, uh, which is common. It's not nothing to be concerned about. And, you know, we can do, do steps to save this colony. Uh, it's not a big deal if we decide to do it. Or we can just use this colony as our... Uh, cell starter. I was looking for some cat brood, which I don't see any cat brood. Uh, so this colony's in a little bit of trouble. Um, not dire trouble. They have queen cells right now. Um, just want to kind of see what's going on with them. Uh-oh. Sorry. That is... Stuff really sticks this time of year. Okay, there's another drone. Well, he went somewhere. I'm not sure where he went, but I saw a drone on here, so that's a good sign. So we're starting to get drones. They're not flying yet, but they're they're being born. Um, there's some larvae in here. Here's the drone right there. So he's not ready to fly. If you touch your finger on there and he just kind of spazzes off, he's not ready to make... If he does that and then he flies off, he's ready to mate. Well, I've got a feeling there's some brood in here. Um, and it's cold, so I'm not going to keep it open any longer. I'm going to close this up. Like I said, i got some queen tails going. They're almost capped. But they look terrible, honestly. These cells are awful cells. So I don't have any hopes that they're really going to make a queen. Um, so this may be a good option to, you know, give some brood to, see what they'll do, um, and see how it goes. So we're going to feed these and close them up and get into this one, see what we got. Not not high hopes for this one, but we can use the bees out of it. We'll, we'll decide what we're going to do with it later. Um, but we'll probably just use the bees we may give it a frame of brood from another colony and see what it does but we'll let you know what we decide to do with it okay guys so we opened up this colony and they moved over to this side so that tells me that the stores were on this side so they've moved over 
but they've got a great looking brood pattern for this time of year um, I know this one doesn't look quite as good as the one I just looked at but I'll show it to you um, I was looking to see if I could see my queen real quick uh, I'll show you that pattern that they had just a second ago smaller colony nothing wrong with a smaller colony this time of year okay so this is all pollen looking good but they have no nectar at all no uh, no carbohydrates that I've seen in this colony uh, maybe a little bit up top we'll have to look at that one but if you look at this that's a good pattern for this time of year she's got a good queen she's doing her job that's worker brood so I'm not concerned about this colony all I want to get a mite treatment on it because I saw those uh, mites in the drone brood on the other one um, so we're going to treat it and I normally treat in the spring anyway um, so that's not a crazy thing for me to do um, but I hadn't treated these at this point so because we, we do a lot of splitting with them and I mean they're they're broodless and you know it's hard for the mites to stay alive in it because we're splitting them all the time and stuff like that but hey that, the bees will tell you what they need more than we do or more than we know so we've got a laying queen in this colony it looks good um, I do want to look into this box because it kind of looks barren up top I mean there's some bees in it but I'll show you at the bottom we've got some wonky comb going on here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and address this and I'm sure my queen's up here somewhere um, I'm gonna carefully set this here I'm gonna give it a little bit of smoke try to run all the bees off of it just run those bees up into the box a little bit I'm just gonna gently cut that off check for my queen she's not on it I'm gonna move that out of the way same with this one nothing right here nothing okay so now what I want to do is I want to set this gently down on my colony um, just like so now I want to pop out one of these side frames over here because you know my queen's in here somewhere I don't know that we'll be able to find her but I hope to um, so I'm going to get this frame out and I'm going to slide these over. She's probably ran back down get away from the sunlight now, but that's the way it goes. I'm trying to find her. I'm going to get that frame out of the way. I'm going to move these over a little bit. If you ever work bees this time of year when it's cold out and this propolis hadn't warmed up and the wax is still hard, uh, it makes it difficult. Okay, so we've got some nectar in here we hadn't fed these bees so we know it's nectar got some pollen same thing on this side but I want to see that queen I want to know what she's doing I can't help it okay there she is she still got her yellow dot on her so we know that's from well I don't know we marked her last year she's got a single eggs in the cell everything's looking good she's got a nice pattern down at the bottom I'm done I'm going to close it up I'm going to let her do her thing. Now, she needs some food. So, we're going to give this colony food, obviously. Pollen supplement, a mite treatment, and keep in mind, if you use like Apigard or anything thymol based or um, uh, mostly organic stuff, formic acid or anything like that, it's going to it's gonna really slow these bees down and I don't want to do that so I may just do some oxalic acid vapors or I may do some apivar just to see if I can you I know, I know there's controversy over it but I may just see if it'll it'll knock down the mites enough to get me through to my August treatment so we'll see so what I need to do is take this back off I'm just gonna hold it back. I'm gonna put this on I'm going to slide this over just a little bit here so I can get me a pollen patty in here. Now, they don't need a whole one-pound pollen patty. They're small. So, I'm just going to cut this open a little bit, mark it up a little bit. 
smoke these bees down just a tad. I'm going to put it right over the cluster of bees in between the two boxes. Just like so. I'm going to cover this up. And now I'm going to give them some sugar water. And really, guys, that's, that's all I needed to do today. Verify that they were alive, that they had laying queens. We had that one issue with this one. So we got three good colonies going into the spring to raise our queens off of. We can use the bees out of that one right there to make a cell builder or to boost one of these colonies. So, hey, I'm happy. Uh, no issues. I know these are good genetic bees. The, the queens are good because I raised them myself. <laughs> no, nah, that don't make, mean they're good, but they came from good stock. They came from a queen that was uh, five years old and was a tremendous uh, queen and you know, we, we had to have her genetics, so that's what we did. So we're going to fill this feeder up, give them something to eat on. Uh, we'll check back on it in about a week, and hopefully we'll have more drones ready, and we can start grafting and building these up. What we're going to do, we're going to uh, continue our series on building bees. We didn't get to finish it last year. I apologize, but hey, I got to work too. So that's the way it goes. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments. Uh, we appreciate you watching and happy beekeeping.